Have you ever wondered why the aurora lights at the North and South Poles look different? Imagine the sky ablaze with the ethereal dance of the auroras, those natural light displays predominantly seen near the polar regions. These luminous phenomena occur when charged particles from the Sun collide with atoms in Earth's atmosphere. Given that the Earth's magnetic field lines connect the North and South Poles, one might expect these spectacular light shows to mirror each other exactly. However, contrary to what might seem logical, the auroras at each pole do not always look the same. Recent scientific investigations have revealed intriguing differences in their appearances. These variations include distinct shapes and occurrences at different geographic locations, a phenomenon known as asymmetry. This discovery has piqued the curiosity of scientists and sparked a series of studies aimed at understanding why these differences occur. Stay tuned as we unravel the mystery behind these captivating celestial differences. The dance of the auroras is orchestrated by more than just Earth's magnetic field. Far from being a mere backdrop, the Sun plays a pivotal role in this celestial performance through its magnetic field and the relentless stream of solar winds. This interaction between the solar and terrestrial forces not only captivates the eye, but also shapes the unique characteristics of the northern and southern lights. Let's delve into the heart of this cosmic interplay. The Sun, our closest star, emits a constant flow of charged particles known as the solar wind. This wind races across the 93 million miles separating Earth from the Sun, carrying with it the Sun's magnetic field. Upon reaching Earth, this magnetic field encounters our planet's own magnetic shield. Here's where the plot thickens. Depending on its orientation, the solar magnetic field can align or misalign with Earth's magnetic field. When the solar magnetic field arrives at Earth, pointing in an east-west direction, it interacts asymmetrically with the magnetic fields at the north and south poles. This asymmetry and interaction results in different magnetic pressures being exerted at each pole. Imagine the Earth's magnetic field as a malleable sphere being squeezed by these external forces. This squeezing or asymmetric loading of pressure introduces a tilt in Earth's magnetic field on the night side. This tilt is not just a minor adjustment. It significantly alters the trajectory of the charged particles that travel along the magnetic field lines, particles that are responsible for the auroral displays. As these particles spiral along the tilted magnetic lines, they collide with molecules in Earth's atmosphere, releasing energy in the form of light. This light, which paints the sky in vibrant hues, manifests differently at each pole due to the varied interactions of magnetic fields and solar winds. Consequently, the auroras we observe are not mere reflections of each other, but are distinct in their formation and appearance. This complex interplay sets the stage for the unique displays we observe at each pole. But what part does Earth's own magnetic tail play in this celestial ballet? Imagine Earth not just as a planet, but as a dynamic participant in a cosmic dance with the Sun. Extending from the night side of Earth far into space is what scientists call the magnetotail. This isn't just a poetic term, it's a real physical structure, part of Earth's magnetic field shaped somewhat like a comet's tail, stretching millions of miles into space. The magnetotail isn't static, it's constantly interacting with the solar wind, a stream of charged particles flowing out from the sun. This interaction is crucial because it influences how the magnetotail behaves and, by extension, affects the auroras we see at Earth's poles. Now the plot thickens when the sun's own magnetic field comes into play. Occasionally, the solar magnetic field aligns in an east-west direction as it meets Earth. This alignment changes the way the solar wind interacts with our magnetotail. Specifically, it squeezes the magnetotail. Think of it like pinching a water balloon. The pressure builds up at the pinch point, but also affects the shape and flow of the water, or in this case, the magnetic field lines and charged particles. This squeezing results in different effects at each of Earth's poles. It causes a kind of asymmetry. A scientific term that here means the northern and southern lights don't mirror each other perfectly as once thought. Each pole experiences these effects differently due to variations in how the magnetotail's pressure and particles are distributed. 
This process is more than just a fascinating space phenomenon. It's a dance of magnetic fields and solar winds that shapes the visual majesty of the auroras. This squeezing not only shapes the auroras, but also adds a twist to their tail. Scientists once believed the story was all about magnetic reconnection. The prevailing notion was that the mysterious and beautiful auroras at the North and South Poles were due to the dynamic reconnection of Earth's magnetic field lines in the magnetotail, where these lines are pulled apart and suddenly snap back together. This was thought to cause the asymmetry observed in the auroral displays, where the northern and southern lights do not mirror each other, but instead exhibit distinct shapes and appear at different locations. However, recent insights have turned this theory on its head. A groundbreaking study published in the Journal of Geophysical Research. Space physics introduces a compelling new perspective. It suggests that the process of tail reconnection, far from causing asymmetry, actually plays a role in reducing it. This is a stark contradiction to the old views that dominated scientific thinking for years. The research indicates that the differences in auroral displays are more likely due to how the solar wind and the sun's magnetic field compress Earth's magnetotail. This compression varies between the north and south, leading to uneven pressures and a tilt in Earth's magnetic field on the night side. This tilt is what causes the auroras to differ in shape and location across the poles. Understanding this new mechanism not only refines our knowledge of how auroras form, but also enhances our ability to predict space weather patterns. This pivot in understanding marks a significant leap in our grasp of geomagnetic phenomena. So, why does this new understanding matter? The recent breakthrough in auroral research isn't just a matter of academic curiosity, it holds substantial implications for our daily lives and the safety of technologies that modern society depends heavily upon. By unraveling the mystery of aurora asymmetry, scientists are paving the way for more accurate predictions of space weather events. These events, which include solar flares and geomagnetic storms, can wreak havoc on Earth's electrical grids, disrupt satellite communications, and pose serious risks to astronauts in space. Understanding how the aurora's different appearances at the poles are linked to the sun's magnetic field and the Earth's magnetotail responses provides crucial data. This information helps scientists predict when and where the most intense interactions between solar winds and our planet's magnetic field will occur. Such predictions are vital because solar storms can induce currents in the Earth's surface capable of knocking out transformers and power grids, leading to widespread blackouts and damage that can take weeks or even months to repair. Moreover, better predictive capabilities mean that satellite operators can take preemptive measures to protect sensitive equipment from the harsh space environment. This is particularly critical in an era where satellites play integral roles in global communications, weather forecasting, and navigation. For astronauts, these predictions are a matter of life and death. Solar flares emit harmful radiation that can be fatal if proper precautions are not taken. Advanced warning allows for necessary measures to shield astronauts from these dangerous radiations. Furthermore, this enhanced understanding of geomagnetic phenomena enriches our knowledge of the Earth-Sun relationship, offering insights that could be fundamental in planning future missions, not only to orbit but also to other planets. As we continue to explore and rely on space, the need for robust space weather forecasting becomes more crucial. The insights gained from studying aurora asymmetry equip us with better tools to safeguard our infrastructure and explore new frontiers safely. Accurate predictions mean safer skies above and sturdier grids below. The auroras, those shimmering curtains in the sky, tell a story deeper than their beauty. As we've explored, the auroras at the North and South Poles are not mere reflections of each other. They are distinct, shaped by the complex interplay of solar winds and Earth's own magnetic personality. The sun emits a stream of charged particles known as the solar wind. This wind, upon reaching Earth, interacts with our planet's magnetic field. Particularly important is the Earth's magnetotail, the elongated stretch of the magnetic field that is squeezed and molded by these solar particles. It's in this interaction that the seeds of auroral asymmetry are sown. Research has revealed that the Sun's magnetic field, when aligned east-west, interacts differently with the magnetic poles of Earth. This interaction results in varying pressures and a tilt in Earth's magnetic field on the night side. 
This tilt is a key player in why the auroras appear differently at each pole, both in shape and location. Contrary to past beliefs, recent studies have shown that the phenomenon of tail reconnection previously thought to increase asymmetry actually reduces it. This insight has shifted our understanding and opened new avenues for predicting how and where these lights will dance in the polar skies. Each light display, unique to its pole, is a spectacular reminder of the dynamic dance between Earth and the Sun. Keep looking up, for the sky has many stories to tell. Smash subscribe, hit the bell, never miss out.